Hey everybody, Eric here, and today with Mojo Talks, we're talking about the 75th anniversary of the Golden Globes. Uh, this was a big one, and as you all know, it's always the kickoff to the award season. Golden Globes tend to be a little bit more laid back than the Oscars. Why? Because there's open bar. Whereas the Oscars is a dry uh, event, uh, there's liquor flowing at the Golden Globes, so it always tends to be uh, generally funnier, more laid back, uh, and more political. And this year was no different, of course, uh, with the backdrop of Me Too and Time's Up. This was a very politically charged show. Uh, now, one thing we should mention, we have a couple of polls. So if you check in the description of this video, you'll see links to our polls about the top 10 biggest snubs and a poll about Oprah running for president. We'll get to that a bit later. But first, let's talk about uh, our top five moments from the Golden Globes. Number five, Time's Up paints the red carpet black. You know, we're, we're used to seeing people walk the red carpet with all kinds of color, and this year, as the backdrop is the Me Too movement and Time's Up, which is an initiative uh, created by about 300 women from Hollywood uh, to call attention to everything that's been going on. This year, the idea was everyone dress in black, and, and, and it didn't necessarily create something that was somber, but it was more serious, and it was more politically charged, and you did get the sense that everyone was kind of laser-focused with this one issue, and it was talked about in all the speeches, and it was kind of the overarching feeling of the Golden Globes this year. So yes, it was fun, but there was a message and people took it very seriously. Moving on to number four, Seth Meyers monologue. Now over the years we've had some really, really good hosts. I can think of Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, there was Jimmy Fallon, Ricky Gervais, uh, who hosted a couple of times, did a fantastic job. And Seth Meyers did a good job last night too. I would say if you're gonna be brought down by anyone in Hollywood, I think Seth Meyers is the guy to do it. And he did not hold back last night. He really, really went to town on Harvey Weinstein, uh, Kevin Spacey, and Woody Allen. Uh, he roped Woody Allen in and I think that was uh, maybe surprising to some, maybe not surprising to others. Uh, what was surprising to me about Seth Meyers, however, is that during the rest of the show, he really didn't have that much to say. There was, you know, it's, it's like they were running so late that they just kept on moving past and not so many jokes throughout the night. That was a bit disappointing, but his opening monologue was really something to see. Now I want to talk about my favorite moment. This is our number three, but my personal favorite moment from the Golden Globes, and this was Tommy Wiseau's big moment. Uh, you know, we're big fans of the movie The Room. We were very excited about The Disaster Artist, and it certainly didn't disappoint. Uh, and we were excited that uh, James Franco won for Best Actor portraying Tommy Wiseau in The Disaster Artist. And then he brings Wiseau up on stage for his big moment after 19 years. And Wiseau is about to take the mic, he's about to say something, and James Franco just kind of pushes him aside and shushes him and goes on some long tangent of a speech where he did speak in a pretty good Wiseau accent. But, uh, you know, it was very poetic that he just didn't get, he was standing on stage and he didn't get his moment. Uh, if you do want to know more about Tommy Wiseau though, check out our Watch Mojo video of the top 10 facts you didn't know about Tommy Wiseau. Number two, pretty straightforward, Natalie Portman's call out when she was presenting the nominees for Best Director and she called them the all-male nominees. Well, I mean, it's true, and you saw people's reaction. If you think about it, where was Patty Jenkins, director of Wonder Woman? Where was Greta Gerwig, who directed Lady Bird? I mean, these are some pretty major snubs. Uh, and if you want to weigh in, we actually have a poll of the top 10 snubs of the Golden Globes. You can find the link in the description to this video. The moment that everyone's been talking about, when Oprah went to collect her Cecil B. DeMille Award, and she gave a speech that was so what you would expect from Oprah. It was inspiring, it was motivational, it was a call to action. People were up cheering, people were sitting crying. It's gonna be one of those speeches that'll be remembered for generations to come. She really, she oprah it up. And not even seconds later on social media, you started to see all kinds of people calling for Oprah 2020. And so we have a poll actually right now that is uh, top 10 reasons why Oprah should run for president. So we want you to participate. Uh, you can find the link in the description to the video. Uh, and if you liked this video, send us your comments, like us, subscribe, uh, do all that fun stuff. And we'll be back at you with more from Mojo Talks. Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.